in the next fall economic statement. I'd like to turn to a question to the Minister of Mental Health. Uh, Madam Chair, there are two local mental health service pro providers in my community, Thresholds and the CMHA of Waterloo, Wellington, who've been struggling for months to secure funding for a mental health emergency room to provide appropriate care for people in crisis and to alleviate strain on overcrowded emergency rooms. There hasn't been government funding available, so they've had to open this summer using their own budgets, and they've got about three months of staffing support available to demonstrate how critical this support is. Given the urgency of the situation, of course the provincial government also needs to step up, uh, but given the, the urgency and the critical need for this kind of facility, I'd like to hear what the minister believes the immediate actions the federal government could take to support these kinds of local initiatives and ensure that people in crisis have access to the care they need without overburdening emergency rooms. Last question, uh, depending on how long the answer is, the Honourable Min uh, Minister of Mental Health and Addictions. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you to the member for his question. I know he's such a, a staunch advocate on mental health and, and helping those who use substances in our communities. Um, Madam Chair, I don't think there is a quick fix to, to, to getting our health systems to incorporate mental health in the full spectrum of care. This is why we are taking an integrated approach to, through the bilateral agreements. As I mentioned earlier in the evening, um, just for example, in Ontario, 700 million of their $3.1 billion bilateral agreement is towards mental health and substance use. And we have to move the needle. We're not there yet. Um, community service organizations have been the bedrock of providing mental health services in this gap that we see across jurisdictions. That being said, um, this is exactly why programs like the Youth Mental Health Fund are being put into place in Budget 2024, but there aren't quick fixes. We, we, it, we are moving mental health into the healthcare systems. We are seeing, for the first time ever, there are mental health ministers in nearly every jurisdiction across this country, which shows us that there is a prioritization to work collaboratively. Um, I'm, I'm happy to meet with the member to talk about what's going on in his own community with regards to CMHA and, and local, local CMHAs do terrific work and, and happy to discuss.